Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, bringing you another awesome video! Hey guys, it's your boy, Brad Brad here, today we're bringing another awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! Gold from my video replay. This time we're going to replay on that awesome deck, the light control deck that we had there with a little bit of the ritual in it. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to go over the replay here. We're playing against MRP Bravo, I think it is. And, um, yeah, you'll see what he's playing there, boys. We're playing our light control deck. Pretty sick deck, right? So we're going to draw. Oh, great hand. Oh, just fucking lovely, right? So he's on Necro Valley, so I'm assuming he's playing a great Givers. But as you can see in his hand, he's playing some sort of lava golem control deck. I'm going to cool. So we're going to MST that. We'll get this back. And, uh, and the idea is we're going to wait for him to bring out his, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, uh, Great Keepers, that's what I thought he was playing. He's gonna, but nope, you know, he's going to have that. And he's going to bring a lot of gold. Oh, poopy, eh? That's not good. At least that's what he wants us to think. <laughs> so then we're going to do that. Put that at the top of your deck this way, and then we'll get rid of him on that. Do that. Then we're thinking here, and I should have got should have got the Reaper. What are you gonna do? No biggie. So then he's gonna draw that again. Don't care. And we guys playing this card, Spatial Collapse. You can only have this card both your and opponent each have more five or less cards in the field. Maximum number of cards that each player can have on the field is five. Okay then. I don't understand the point of that card. Anyways, so he's gonna say a skill drain. Still can't do nothing. Drama trio. No biggie. So we'll set our song judgment. All right. I'm thinking about oh, judging that. Nah, YOLO, fuck that. So then we're going to get clogged up a little bit here. No big deal, though. We'll get rid of that Reaper. Fuck it. Hit him for 25. Play around TT, I suppose. He's going to do that. All right. That sucks. What are you going to do? At least we draw a Thunder Dragon. Get rid of our... Uh, thin the deck a little bit. Set our... Um, what do you call it? Lady. Probably shouldn't have set it, but that's okay. Then we'll delinquent duo. Get rid of two cards. Awesome. Graceful Charity. All right, pot of greed or jar of greed. Sorry, draw some more. All right, beautiful. Just when we need to win, we're gonna knock. Cool. Heavy storm. Okay, end of the game. Not because I still need five or more light points. Fuck. Right. So, but he doesn't draw anything. Gets the lava golem, and doesn't use it for some reason. Okay, cool. GG. Wouldn't have mattered because I would have had my would have summoned my Manju. Then got rid of the lava golem. Yeah, it wouldn't matter either way. So yeah, GG. And this game, too, is a fucking drag, man. These are some of the worst. So I'm like, YOLO, let's go plus two, right? And get rid of chain energy at the same time, because that card is so annoying sometimes. All right, and then we, we got him. But the part, problem is, is that we don't have another spell, so we can't activate his effect. And this really sucks. Morphing Jar. Man, that fucking sucked. And we'll draw shit, and we'll just set, the, set that. You know, set a whole bunch. Card destruction. Yeah, I can read, buddy. And then we're going to do that. Draw some more. All right, no big deal. Scapegoat. Apparently, I guess you can't do it if you set. So whatever. I don't know, understand the order or why he's keeping it on the field. But anyways, we're going to blind MST, YOLO. Uh, we're going to Cataville Old Men. And I decide to flip it and put that on top of my deck. Cool, whatever. I wasn't really thinking when I did that. I shouldn't have did that. But that's all right. And then we'll draw a greed. Draw another one. Okay, cool. Alright, fuck your cat. Get rid of it. And we're just going to hope for hope some monsters. And we'll do that. Get rid of the stealth bird. And I didn't realize that he, he banished both stealth birds. You know, it's not a flip monster. I wish I realized that, but whatever. I was just going along with the flow. And it's like, whoops. So, anyways. It, doesn't, it wouldn't have made a difference in the long run. I don't think. Well, maybe it would have. I don't know. If it really would have made a difference, it's hard to say. I don't think it would have myself, personally, as you'll see. So he's getting out of Jama Trio. And you know what? It might have made a difference. But you know what? Whatever. He's going to do that, Jama Trio. Alright, cool. Lovely. Still can't do anything great. These these kind of games are the best. So they just fucking drag on for an eternity. And then I can't... You can ritual someone your tokens off, believe it or not. But I'm like, do I really want to? Not really. But then I get, and then I get this. It's like, oh, 
But I still can't attack in because a friggin' messenger of peace. And he's trying to tell me that it happens on my turn. It's like, no, you dumbass. It happens on your turn. Read a friggin' card. So then we'll draw a delinquent duo. Still can't do anything. Great. Lovely. Pot of Greed. Draw some cards. All right, we're going to set Faith. We're going to try and get Pot of Greed back. Oh, of course, you guys love Golem. I forgot about Lava Golem. Whoops. Take our 500 Lava Golem. Oh, well. And he's going to do that. Lovely. Still can't get my giant true native deck, which I have one of, by the way, in the deck with four cards left, of course. So I can't get it. Lovely. We'll dust tornado that. Thinking that. All right, we got this now. We got this. We're going to get rid of all these fucking tokens. Get rid of them all. Hit in. Whole bunch of damage. Oh, yeah. We got this. And we should have delinquent dude. I didn't want us so low on life points. Maybe it would have made a difference. I don't think it would have. But I'm like, I got Song Judgment set. We got this, guys. We got this. Set five. Pfft. No problemo. Let's hit in. Magic Cylinder, fuck you. We're going to do that. All right, now, 2,500. Oh, great. Gravity Bind. Oh, lovely. So we're going to get rid of the Gravity Bind. And he's going to drama trio, but you, I don't have three tokens on the field. Because dumbass thinks that you can do it that way. He's like, no, you can't. Anyways, so then he's going to ring a destruction. I'm going to ring a destruction. And then... I'm like, and then I kind of realized, like, oh, wait, and then I'm like, uh, yeah, the dumbass is like, we go, like, oh, my ring section results first, and it wouldn't have mattered. Um, and I don't know, if, tell me, you guys, if this works in the comments down below, if you both activate ring of destruction, but one person dies, and if that person dies first, I think that we fucked up there, but it wouldn't have mattered because, as you'll see, we'll win the game two here, so it wouldn't, or game three, so it wouldn't have mattered either way. Let me know if we fucked up. I mean, we made a lot of fucking mistakes in that game. What are you going to do, I suppose? Then I'm going second. It sucks. What are you going to do? We'll get rid of that cat of the old no man. Great. Fuck that card. And then we're going to Thunder Dragon. Get some cards. All right. And then we'll Manju. Get some more. Ritual. Get some more advantage. Hit in. Yeah. All right. No big deal. Escape Goat. That's fine. Only got three. We'll set two cards. And we'll do that again. Try and get another card. All right, Pot of Greed. We better. We should be able to get the. There we go. Yep, we got it. And then we're gonna do that. Do that. I'm like, oh, whoops. Uh, so I'm gonna solve dungeon. Fuck you. We're gonna take that since he clearly doesn't want me to. Stealth bird. Cool. And then he's gonna nightmare wheel me. Fine. No problemo. We'll do two of your monsters. No biggie. Goodbye. And then he's going to set him back down, activate Dark Vor. Oh, that's lovely. Dark Vor is so annoying. So we're just going to grab another final Ritual of the Ancients. I'm debating if I should take it again. If I should take back his, um, his bird. I do. Fuck it. And, uh, yeah, hit in. I was thinking because of what I wanted to do was uh, use the final Ritual of the Ancients, get rid of this, and get rid of the Night Wheel, real right? But I was like, nah, YOLO. That was my thought process. And then I make a pretty stupid mistake here going forward. He makes a mistake, doesn't set that card. Great. I love when that happens. So we're going to hit that instead of hitting Dark Door. I should have hit Dark Door is what I should have did. Or waited because then he activates this. It's like, fuck. Right? So I'm going to get rid of what? Get rid of that. Right? And I can still only attack with one. So it's not a huge deal. So I hit him with one. Then he's going to Carve Destruction. Right? Because he's got nothing. I don't know why he didn't set Reaper before. I have no way to get rid of it. But anyways. Um, and he's going to do this. And this is the end of the game. We're going to Mind Con. Morphing Jar. Perfect. That's exactly what we needed. A morphing jar. MST, there we go. End of the game. Fuck you. We'll get rid of your your dark door. And I have just enough on all these guys, and that's it. So there you go. As you can see, the deck isn't too bad. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool game. Game 2 dragged on. We might have made some mistakes. I made a lot of mistakes in this game, but we still ended up winning in the end. And that's all that matters. To prove this deck's not too bad. So yeah, that's just it there, guys. Um, I hope you liked the replay. And if you did, be sure to leave a like and a comment down in the comments below. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Peace out.